Hey, resin creators, how are you? Um, I got something I want to talk to you about, and um, let me go here. Hey, resin creators, how are you? Oh, there we go. Okay, let me turn this down so I don't distract myself. So I have my phone turned around the other way, so that way I can show you some stuff and you can read it the way you should. And I, um, I've got my iPad here so I can see your all's questions because like, I can't see this. Anyway, I got something on my mind and I want to talk to you guys about it. And um, that is regarding resin safety. Okay, so resin safety is something really important that you guys need to take seriously. And um, I've had some questions recently about some stuff and um, I just, I want to take a moment to kind of just, just tell you where, where I am on this and um, at least give you guys the best information moving forward on what you can do to keep yourself safe when working with resin. And so first and foremost, I would tell you that having a good, healthy concern about keeping yourself safe when working with resin is normal and appropriate and um, right, it keeps you from doing stupid stuff, okay? And I would liken it to driving a car, right? How many of us have cars? How many of us drive cars? How many of us know that cars can seriously injure or kill us, right? Okay, does that mean we never get in a car again? No. Does it mean we take certain safety precautions though, right? So we have like seat belts and we have airbags and we drive the speed limit most of the time. <laughs> anyway, you understand where I'm going with this, right? So, so I don't, you know, if you're, if you're afraid of using resin, that's actually, let's embrace that and make sure you're doing things to keep yourself safe and it keeps you from doing stupid stuff, right? Okay. So a good, healthy concern for your safety is very important. So, um, right away, two things you got to do, and that is you got to wear protective gloves. Okay. So like, um, you know, you gotta wear something impervious to, to fluids, okay? So these are latex gloves. We sell these in our store. We also have nitrile gloves in case you have a latex allergy. Um, but you need to wear something to cover your hands. And then the second thing is that you need to have really good ventilation, okay? And um, I understand, I, I get people that are like, well, what's really good ventilation? Okay, so um, <laughs> one of the random facts I know up here in my head, long story, is that if you are an animal in a laboratory setting, okay, in order for you to have really good ventilation, you have to have it a complete air exchange of the room every 15 minutes, okay? Now that requires like some, some you know, good HVAC systems and that kind of thing. But the reason I bring that up is because that's my goal when I'm doing resin, okay? So, you know, I'll have a fan going, I'll have, you know, something to exhaust, um, fumes away from where I'm working, you know, if, if weather permitting, I'll have a window open. So, so like, that's the goal you need to keep in mind. If you have a minute, you can go over to, um, youtube.com forward slash resin obsession. And here a couple of months ago, I took everybody on a tour of how I set up really good ventilation in my studio. So you can just kind of do the walkthrough and you can see how, um, I do stuff and at least give you some ideas on what you can strive for. So then beyond that, Certainly um, wearing a respirator for fumes. There's different kinds of respirators are out there. So make sure you wear one for fumes, okay? And then, um, you know, anything else that, you know, will keep you safe, okay? So if you're the messy type, then you might wanna wear, you know, a plastic apron of sorts or whatever, right? If you're, you know, spilling it and getting it on yourself, then, you know, that's what you might wanna do. Um, you know, you might want to have an, uh, if you're fortunate enough, like I am, you know, I've got a space that's completely dedicated to resin and I can just tell everybody, look, I'm doing resin this afternoon. Nobody go in there until tomorrow morning or something like that, right? So so do what you can and um, to, to keep yourself safe, please take this seriously, okay? Um, I know there's, um, I know there's one particular group um, on social that, um, talks about all the dangers of using epoxy resin. Um, I, I, <laughs> I, I'm not trying to minimize what those people have gone through, but I will tell you that this is like my 15th year of working with resin and I've taken all the safety precautions and I feel like I'm doing fine. Um, it's kind of like when you get a headache, right? And you start Google searching and all of a sudden, you know, 10 minutes later, you're convinced you have a brain tumor, right? So I just tell you, if you, if you get into like some of these groups and stuff, just, you know, take everybody's information, you know, um, but don't, you know, just 
research and come to your own conclusion, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But, but, but the important thing we can all agree here is that safety is very important. Now, um, the next thing I will tell you is um, something that's incredibly important um, to me, and that is specifically the products you're buying, okay? So if you're not already aware, you know, I love to share great advice, and we also have great products that I use myself that, that you can come to our store and buy. And as a part of that, there's a few things that we do that, um, you know, I'm just gonna lay it out there, not, not all the other resin supply stores do. And um, I, I understand that you might be in a place in the world where you can't buy supplies from us or, or you know, right, you've got another supplier that, that you really like. Um, but I feel like it's so important that even if you're not getting supplies from us, that you need to know some of this information I'm getting ready to share so that you can make the best decision about what's best for you. Okay. and. Um, that first and foremost is that when you are buying any kind of an art supply or art material in the United States, it is, it is the law, right? I didn't, I don't make up the rules, but I do have to follow them. It is the law that that, um, art product. So whether it's a resin, a resin color, and that includes glitters. Okay. I know a lot of you like, like your glitter, like who doesn't like a good, you know, container of glitter. Um, it has to do, or the federal law says it has to, uh, like hold this up to the camera. It has to say conforms to ASTM D4236, okay? And that is federal law, okay? I'm not, I'm not making this up, you can Google it. And what this says is that um, the product has been reviewed and meet certain safety standards. And when you meet those standards, then you um, you put that on the label along with any appropriate warnings that need to go on the label. So that's why when you get a resin from us and it says, you know, may cause allergic skin reaction, right? Um, it's nothing you don't already know, right? You know, that's why we wear the gloves, but we um, label it for you so that you can, you are aware gosh, when I get this resin, it may cause skin reaction. That's why, another reason why I need to wear the gloves, okay? And then, um, of course, the ASTM certification. Now, um, as a part of this as well, I have had, this is mm, somebody way smarter than I am, a PhD board certified toxicologist review our all of our resins, all of our colors, okay? So that we can give you the best information on how to use our items safely. And so not only have we done the ASTM certification, but we have a complete safety data sheet that tells you everything you need to know to use the product safely, how to dispose of it safely, and what, you know, who you should call in case, you know, there's a there's a problem in terms of um, you know, some something you're you're worried about is happening. Okay. Um, you know, I'm I'm gonna lay it out there. Not everybody does this. And it, it, you know, it bothers me on the level that even if you're not buying supplies from us, I really want you to have an amazing resin experience. Resin has been a part of my life for 15 years and I can't imagine doing anything but. And it, it just, it, 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 it hurts, it, right? It hurts a little bit knowing that, you know, somebody could use resin and something happens and it's not your fault. Somebody didn't, you know, the company didn't do their due diligence and didn't go to all the trouble of um, obeying the law. And, you know, I, I, I went the extra step and I have a, a toxicologist review this. Like, that's how important your safety means to me, right? Like, uh, you know, as far as I'm concerned, you know, when you, when you buy products from us, th that's, that's where the relationship begins. It's not like, okay, your order's out the door. Good luck. <laughs> Like, like I'm, I'm here for you. I know it's like really cliche. Yeah, I love you, man. But like, I, I do. I mean, I, I love resin. I, I love talking resin with people. And, and above all else, I want you to have this just amazing resin experience. And I want you to, to you know, experience why I love it. So, um, folks, please be safe. Please be, um, please be careful. You know, right? Just you know, take take safety seriously. Don't you know? Don't don't panic though. But just right. Right, a good healthy concern keeps you from doing something stupid, okay? Um, let me look back here and see um, what else. I'm trying to watch this and watch, see if there's any questions. So, um, 
There we go. Okay, so it seems like everybody was just watching and asking um, stuff. Any any questions at this point? I mean, I could talk safety. <laughs> I could just keep talking safety, um, right? And safety is like one of those things like wah, 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 right? Like totally boring. Like nobody wants to talk safety and I get it, right? You know, everybody wants to get right into pouring resin and um, and that. So um, the last thing I would tell you too is, well, I don't know if it's gonna be the last thing, but you know, the other important thing too is if for some reason you decide you don't wanna do resin anymore, like you don't, you know, you get it, you know, I don't know, whatever, or um, <laughs> right, you go to move and you find this box and you're like, oh my gosh, I totally forgot I had this. And you're like, oh, I can't take it with me. Okay, don't pour these down your drain. Don't pour these down your drain. Don't, if you have like unused liquids, don't even throw them away in your trash. So if you're, if you're here in the United States, you can take them to a waste collection center that also collects like paints and old TVs and that kind of thing. And there's a, I, I, well, I can't guarantee it. There's a pretty good chance that they will be able to accept your resin and then dispose of it properly. It can, you know, we don't, we want to make sure it doesn't contaminate groundwater or, or hurt, you know, marine life. So we want to be sure that, you know, that's not a problem. And then, um, of course, you know, um, you know, don't, um, just don't do anything, just don't do anything crazy, right? <laughs> I mean, um, you know, gosh, I, and, and I've also been one to experiment, right? You're doing resin art and you're doing it on a surface and you start adding solvents and you start doing like, you know, you start adding funky stuff and, and I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty, it can get pretty fun. Um, be, be careful and just know that, you know, adding solvents to resin to get laces, lacing on a painting is maybe not what the, you know, everybody intended for you to do with their project. So, you know, just be mindful of that. Um, have a fire extinguisher handy. Um, I've got like a little home one that just stays around the corner. And I mean, just right, be, be ready, you know, basically have a, have a plan B in your head in case something should go wrong and how you're gonna, you know, take care of things or, or get it outside or something like that. But um, right, be, be safe, take care of yourself. You only got one set of lungs. You know, you've only got, you know, a pair of hands, you know, to, to get through your entire life, so. Um, okay. All right, so anybody, if you don't, if you want more information about resin safety, direct message me. I've got probably a dozen or so articles on our blog to kind of point you in the right direction, especially if you're in the market for a respirator. I can share the article of the respirator I use and where I get it and the cartridges and all that kind of thing. Um, if you're in the market for resin supplies, I would love to help you with your next project. So um, our resins, we can only ship to the US and Canada. Um, colors and molds and all our other stuff we can ship worldwide and so I would love that opportunity I consider it a privilege to be able to help you with your projects because like I'm trying to give the world a resin obsession one person at a time <laughs> okay thanks so much for stopping by today stay safe come get some supplies and um, I look forward to helping you with your next project see everybody